It's like the, this is the only B roll I think we have. <laughs> They're gonna kick us out of here. I can feel it. This is just gonna be the entire video. This is gonna draw this out for 30 minutes. <laughs> Lots of spinach. I go through like at least one of these every day or so. But yeah. But yeah? Yeah. Pronunciation doesn't Right there. Pronounced. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, real quick, I just want to talk about vegetables, okay? What is going on, guys? Coach Joe here at the Wegmans parking lot, baby. And a lot of you guys have been asking me like what I eat specifically for protein, carbs, fats, how my meals look. So I wanted to add to the cutting series where we just do like a grocery haul. So we got Coach Matt behind the camera. Uh, we're gonna go through and I'm gonna just basically take you through guys what I get at the grocery store, show you how much it costs, uh, a little bit more detail into how I prep and plan things. Uh, so I'm excited for this video. Uh, hopefully we don't get kicked out of Wegmans so we'll probably be filming in aisles where there's no people. Uh, but this is Wegmans and typically I go back and forth between uh, Wegmans and then Giant are my two main grocery stores. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so um, first thing we're gonna go through is uh, protein, guys. So I went over all my macros in the previous video. So when it comes to protein, right now I'm mainly sticking to either just chicken uh, or uh, any white fish, mainly tilapia. So I eat a lot of tilapia. And the reason being is I just seem to digest it really well. It's just lighter. Uh, chicken can have a little bit of fat in there as well, where tilapia, you're not really getting much fat. Uh, so that's primarily what I'm using for my protein sources. Uh, but just got some chicken breasts here, so nothing crazy. Got some uh, tilapia, family packs, fresh farm raised. A uh, little fun fact there, if you, the more you order, the cheaper it is sometimes. So just something I discovered. Uh, when it comes to like red meat, I really am not eating any red meat. Uh, typically when I'm massing, I'll throw more of that in because it's gonna just be a little bit higher in calories, typically a little bit higher in fat for the cuts that I like. So I haven't really been doing that. Um, but that's kind of what we have in terms of meats. Uh, the other big protein source that I take is uh, egg whites. I will probably take the entire selection of egg whites uh, from this Wegman. So sorry, not sorry guys, if you shop at this Wegman and you don't have egg whites. Uh, and then on top of that, just using HD muscle uh, whey protein. So that's kind of how I get my protein. And some people are wondering, how's your protein so high, but your fats are so low? And that's because I just mainly consume high protein meat uh, with little to no fat. Uh, and that's kind of how we're doing. If we're talking about protein, uh, just a quick additional point is sometimes I would do some ground turkey, but not too much just because of fat content. And then for the first couple weeks, I was using uh, these. So these are chicken sausages. Now pretty good macros, 4.5 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, nine grams of uh, carbs per link. So I'd have these in the morning. But as we were talking about before with high and low days, as I started accumulating more low days, I kind of eventually cut these out. So this is something that, that I was incorporating for the first couple uh, or several weeks of the cut and then slowly weaning it out. But I would say that's another protein source that I would have. Uh, but these are really nice for the macros if you can find them. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually gluten free. Uh, I've been doing that for about three or four months now, uh, mainly just to help clear up some digestive problems that I was having. Uh, so honestly, it hasn't been anything like crazy for me to get used to because I didn't really eat that much gluten to begin with. Uh, but when I did have it, it did mess up my stomach. So for carbs, uh, one of my favorite go-to is just sushi rice. So I eat a lot of sushi rice, love this stuff. You can use jasmine rice if you want, but I just like sushi rice because the consistency is a little bit stickier. Uh, my next big favorite recently has just been sweet potatoes. Uh, you can use any potatoes, but I go back and forth between sweet potatoes, white potatoes, or like a potato medley. And one of the best things about potatoes, uh, and I've talked about this before in other videos, is the quantity you can get for the carbs that are in them compared to something else. So like one cup of rice is going to have a lot more carbs uh, than a ton of potatoes. So if you're, if you're not uh, feeling full, and you're trying to stay under your carb macros, switching to something like uh, sweet potatoes versus rice or any sort of potato is gonna be like best bang for your buck. Um, the other thing I tend to eat every single morning, we have cream of rice, which is nice because it is gluten-free as well. Uh, so typically in the morning, if you follow me on Instagram, I do uh, some cream of rice, I'll throw some fresh fruit in there, and then I'll do a little bit of cinnamon, and then I'll do some sugar-free syrup just on top to give it a little bit of flavor, and maybe some stevia extract. Uh, but that's kind of what I have for the staple. And then like I said, another carb source is just fruit. I love blueberries, and then raspberries. Did you get it? Guys, I didn't know there was a P in raspberry until like last month, and I'm, I'm okay to admit that. I'm a little bit ashamed, but I, I know I did. Matt, did you know there was a P in raspberries? Can you get to you on the 
you didn't know? All right, because I can't be the only one. And if you were sitting there like you didn't know, put down in the comment section below because us idiots got to come together and uh, just feel good about ourselves. We're trying to find undisclosed locations in the Wegmans because people are seeing a camera in here and they're they're not passing me or they're turning around. And so we're right now in the Arnold Palmer and uh, the Polar section. So. Uh, real quick, I just want to talk about vegetables, okay? So I pretty much have upped my vegetable intake like crazy, uh, especially kind of post-COVID. I was looking at myself and my health and figuring out what are some things I can do to just increase my overall health and well-being, and adding more vegetables uh, into the mix has been just a game changer. You can go. You're totally fine. Thank hey, you. Hey, hey, no, fine. <laughs> See, cool lady. She just keeps going. Love it. Um, but I like asparagus, so I'll eat asparagus or grilled asparagus. Uh, my man Juju Mufu hooked me up with uh, getting into sprouts, so I eat a lot of sprouts. Uh, and they're just easy to just throw on top of anything really. You can mash them up. Some of them have taste, some of them don't have taste, but they're packed with micronutrients. Uh, my stomach really likes them, so I eat them. On top of that, whew, lots of spinach. I go through like at least one of these every day or so. Uh, I'm a big spinach fan, so that's kind of pretty much it. But any dark leafy greens if you want, um, you're good, man. And then, uh, I'll do um, like peppers and onions apparently like, or, or periodically throughout that uh, mix as well. So that's pretty much it with the vegetables. And the biggest thing with vegetables is I stopped, uh, like I said with other things, using oil to saute them and I've just been steaming everything or grilling them. So it just helps save calories. Uh, and honestly, I think it tastes pretty much the same. And that's what we got for the greens and the veggies. All right, so when it comes to fats, right, like I said, my fats are going to be pretty low typically. Uh, so I try to stay under 50 grams of fat per day. And uh, what I get some of my fats from is obviously going to be the meat that I eat. So maybe some chicken uh, or some of the fish. Uh, but I try to limit that by not cooking a ton of stuff in fat anymore. Like I don't want to use too much oil or saute things. So I like to steam things or I just put it in the oven when I cook it, which really helped me save a lot of fats. Uh, but Besides meat, where I get my fats from, uh, nuts are good, so I do some almonds here and there. I also will take in peanut butter. Uh, one of my favorite little little hacks here is this nuts and more. Uh, so pretty tasty, and the macros are pretty friendly. So it's 12 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and then 10 grams of protein. So um, just a little bit healthier in terms of like not being just overboard on the fat. It gives you guys some protein and some carbs as well. It tastes really good, and I'm pretty sure there is whey protein in there. Uh, so. That's kind of where I would get most of my fats from. And then on top of that, I do eat avocados here and there and avocados are gonna have healthy fats. So uh, periodically I'll throw those in the mix as well. But keeping my fats under 50 grams uh, or at 50 grams has been a big game changer for me because it's allowed me to put more of those calories into my carbohydrates uh, and use it more for my training purposes. And I just feel like this is one of the best physiques uh, that I've honestly ever had in my life. We got down the protein, carbs, and fats. And I just wanna go over some other items in here. When it comes to snacks, at night, I'm not gonna lie, I do like some dark chocolate chips. So the, the if they're dark chocolate, they're just not gonna have as many carbohydrates and not be as calorically dense as say milk chocolate uh, or anything of that nature. So I like these. Uh, the other thing is I use this, I don't know if it's Faye or phage or... Fe the pronunciation's like literally on there somewhere. But yeah. But yeah? Yeah, the, the pronunciation doesn't Right there, doesn't pronounced the yeah. And it doesn't help. So clearly uh, there's other people out there who don't know how to say this. Another snack I love is pickles, okay? So obviously what you have to worry about with the pickles here is gonna be the sodium. So if you're worried about water retention or whatever, this could be a factor into it, but there's zero calories. So if you wanna add a little bit more uh, substance to your meals or you wanna snack a little bit, pickles are fantastic. Uh, so that's what I do. Um, what else do I got in here? Oh, in terms of drinks, so I drink a ton of water. Uh, you know, I get at least a gallon of water a day in. But on top of that, I'm a big fan of like doing the diet version of things. So I have uh, these diet, let's see what we got right here. Um, have these diet sparkling beverages. Now the cool thing about this versus say something like a Diet Coke is the sodium's low. All right, so you're not gonna have much of an issue with sodium when you drink something like that compared to a diet soda. So if you're looking for an alternative to a diet uh, soda of any kind, try to check out those uh, sparkling beverages that any grocery store will offer uh, their brand on. But uh, I'll get a few of those. And then uh, sometimes I'll drink uh, some kombucha. So I like these. Uh, they just taste good and a little bit of pre and uh, what is it? Pre, post, and what's the other kind of biotic? What do we got here? Prebiotic, probiotic. That's it. 
probiotics. So, I don't know, there's a bunch of little fungi in there that are supposed to help your stomach. Honestly, it tastes good, a little bit of carbonation. I like it. So, from there, what else we got? Some other little alternatives that have helped me is just 50% uh, less sugar and sodium ketchup. So you can put that on stuff. So just saving some calories there. Um, we have Italian marinade. So when I marinate things, okay, I'll use something like that. Uh, instead of using regular butter, I can't believe it's not butter. So that's just gonna save some calories there as well. Love me some coconut aminos. Absolutely delicious. Put that on mostly all my meals, especially on rice, taste bang with rice. And then we also have some kimchi. So if you want kimchi, just to help zest up, it's just basically fermented cabbage, and this is spicy if it's kimchi. You can also use sauerkraut. So if you like sauerkraut, that's also great too. Uh, you guys know me, love my coffee. This is Backyard Beans, just a local roaster here. I use everything from Folgers to Starbucks to you name it. You know, like the, the premium stuff, and the bottom of the barrel stuff. I'm not really much of a coffee snob. I just want my dang coffee, all right? And then, uh, you know, I may get my man card revoked, but I got my creamer here, my sweet baby hazelnut. The only problem is it's fat free. I got to deal with it right now. It actually sucks. One time on Instagram, I took it and I threw it in the woods. And it was a pretty funny video uh, because I really don't like it, but it's kind of meeting me between I have black coffee here, right? And then we got the creamer dessert coffee here. I got to meet him somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to go with that fat free uh, coffee mate hazelnut creamer. Uh, but that is, I think, everything that we have in this, this grocery cart. Um, basically, that's just the basics of what I have. So we hit the protein, carbs, fats. We hit the, the veggies. We hit some snacks that I like. And then we also um, did some drinks, okay? So like I said in the beginning, guys, I'm a pretty basic dude where I can eat the same thing every single day, and I pretty much do at this point. And honestly, you kind of have to to an extent if you have these goals and you need to hit certain macros. You can change the flavoring up a little bit by using different marinades, using different seasonings. When it comes to seasonings, you know, I love obviously salt, pepper, you can use garlic. Uh, there's Montreal steak seasoning. I love using lemon pepper uh, for any like white fish uh, or fish that I, I cook up. Uh, but, you know, really what it comes down to is hitting those macros, you know, and adjusting as needed. And when you're feeling like you are getting bored of food, trying to find an alternative that still fits in within those macros, uh, that can still keep you on track with your plan. So. That's what Coach Joe is eating. Uh, I'm gonna ring up this total so you guys can see when we head out how much uh, this costs me. And roughly, I'll meal prep one to two times per week. This food will probably last me around a week. And then you can kind of see what my monthly food bill will be. Obviously, when I'm cutting, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than it would be uh, when I'm massing. Uh, so let's go see what the damage is. This was way better because he bagged everything and every time I do self-checkout, I have too much and I'm trying to figure out how to keep it on there because if you take it off, it tells you that you need to put it back on to weigh it properly. But I'm a man of like to do, do things on my own, but I think maybe now I got to use this service. All right, so we got the total. Total was 147.54. All right, so that was for all this stuff. And to be honest with you, I probably spend around 400 a month, I think on groceries, give or take. So that's kind of like where my grocery budget is right now. Um, and like I said, when I'm massing, it's probably a little bit higher because I'm obviously eating more food. Uh, but you know, that's what it is for reference. Obviously, if you're bigger, maybe more. If you're smaller, it's probably gonna be less. Uh, but you know, this is a huge part of my life, a big focus. And the other thing too, is you know, I look at investing in my health uh, for the long term. So. You know, these investments, whether it be, uh, you know, the food or if it's your gym membership or the things you do for your health, you know, this is going to postpone when you're older uh, and any health issues that may arise that don't happen because you are taking care of your health. So look at this stuff as, you know, basically preventative health or preventative medicine, if you want to say, by, you know, keeping your body, you know, as strong as possible and putting the proper nutrients in there to help it run as efficiently as possible. So. That's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this, this video. It's definitely different for me. I'm a little bit nervous when I film in public. Uh, we got some, some strange looks and people didn't want to pass us, but it's whatever. Uh, but make sure you guys go on Facebook, type in the search bar, The Iron Lions, join the Facebook group. 
It's very cool. We do form checks, we do articles. Uh, it's just a great hub for people who are into strength and conditioning, fitness, nutrition, what have you. We also offer a lot of programs, zastrength.net. So if you guys are into strength training, any programs, go on there and check it out. Uh, and then lastly, stay a lean, mean strength machine. Catch you guys next time. Peace.